boy, nothing better than the sound of the raptor starting up. We just filled up with some fuel and we are currently heading to a secret underground truck meet for the second time. That is right, in Elm Creek, one of our buddies, I think, yeah, this is the spot. He let us know of this secret underground bunker. We gotta be super secret though with entering this passcode. We can't let anybody see it. Here we go. It should open. I think it opened. All right. Now we have to go on this road that is gated all the way back until the bunker. And yeah, last time you guys really enjoyed it. We had about seven or eight different trucks show up to the Iowa truck meet. And now we're in Elm Creek. So we are going to do another one and not get caught. Because if you guys didn't know, every time we have a truck meet, we get shut down by the police. So that's why we go underground. It's super cool. There's a lot of new trucks in this town too that we haven't seen. So... Here we go. We're going to pull up to the front. It's a similar style. The farmer Bob still owns it. Here we go. Open up. Perfect. Okay, the camera recognizes. Oh, we're the first ones here. Okay, I guess we get to watch everybody pull in, but let's back in the Raptor. Front, right, and center right here. There we go. This thing is a beast. I've got it. V8 swapped uh, the engine because I can't afford the Raptor R, so we just put one in a Gen 2, and it is a beast. So, all right, let's open up the door. We're going to watch everybody pull in. I think there's probably a truck coming up very shortly. There's uh, two GMC trucks that are pretty cool. I've seen it at some of the SEMA shows. So let's see if that guy uh, pulls up here. And if you guys like these videos, remember to smash the like button down below. And also subscribe if you guys haven't yet. Helps me to continue making these videos. And we might go over to Estancia La Paz to do a truck meet if we can hit 2,000 likes. So make sure you guys hit the like button down below. And I'll see you guys when the first truck pulls in. And we'll get the party started. Here he comes. There's one of the GMCs. Dang, that thing is huge. Wonder how he got through the gate in that thing, but he's got a lift on it. Giant mud tires. Hey, sir. Are you Bob or no? Oh, not Bob here. Uh, just here for the truck meet. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bob's got the same truck as you. So yeah, go ahead, pull forward. They should let you in here. Dang, look at that thing. That thing's lifted like crazy. He's got the mud tires on it. New exhaust pipe. Oh, jeez. And it's a diesel, too. So Duramax engine, which is pretty solid. And I think he's going to come out here and help us watch uh, the trucks pull in. I guess until Bob shows up, this place is technically my truck meet. So we're just going to wait till, uh, till the rest of the guys show up. Oh, looks like the twin brother showed up. So the brothers own these GMCs, apparently. Uh, Dave was telling me he's the guy with the red GMC. And this is his brother, Larry. And Larry's got the matching GMC, the blue one. They've got the same tires, lift kit, all that, just different colors too, which is kind of cool. So they roll around to all the truck shows, SEMA shows, all that, uh, with the same truck, different colors. So welcome to the truck meet. I think your brother's over there. Probably going to back in right next to him. So this is sweet. Okay, now we've got the next truck pulling in. Uh, I just heard him. He's like ripping down the side. So if we see, we can see him. Yep, he's coming down alongside here. Let's take a look. Dang, look, he's ripping in that thing. Hey, break, break, break. Oh my gosh. That thing is quick, but he's got a cool wrap on it. Look at this thing. Hey, welcome to the truck. So uh, you're good to clear through. He's got a 307 package. I think this is from Wyoming. So Elk Mountain, Wyoming, that, that area, that town is a pretty cool area. He got it wrapped for his truck. I wonder if the guy developed it or built it or something. I don't know, but that's a very unique truck. So good for him. He's got a nice, I think that's a 2,500 diesel. Yeah, 2500 HDs always have diesels. They've got the Duramax engine. So, yeah, that's a nice truck. All right, let's see the next guy. I heard him again, too. There's These trucks are loud, too. They're not quiet. Got the big exhaust pipes on them. They're diesels. They roll coal. You can actually see we're polluting the air up there with diesel smoke and soot like crazy. So, all right, here comes the next guy. Oh, my gosh, he just hit the fence. Is this guy okay? Hey, sir, watch the fence down there. Oh, my gosh. I don't think he knows that that thing's all wheel steer. He keeps hitting all the fences. Take it easy. Nice and straight, sir, sir, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, all right here. Actually, I'll, I'll park your car for you. You can actually get out. Hey, hey, get out of the car, man. Get out. I'll, I'll park it for you. Yeah, just go have fun at the truck meet, man. Uh, actually, I think you've had too much fun. Nah, how about you take a break for a minute? Jeez. We'll park your car for you, but this... Oh, uh, I see the problem. He's got no brakes on the thing. Oh, my gosh. I just hit the truck. Look, I'm full break, and the thing took like three seconds. Hey, hey, don't take my truck. Well, not my truck, but the other guy's truck. What are you doing? No way. He just sped off. Oh, my gosh. He just crashed the truck. He just jumped the fence of that guy's truck. Hey, sir, come get your truck. Uh, okay. So he just traded in his Hummer EV for that thing. That guy's crazy. He's in the forest over there. Okay, we don't want him back here. He's not invited to the truck me. Whoever gave him the password, get him out of here, too, to the front gate. No. 
All right, well, here's the lineup so far. We got two GMCs, a Raptor, and a Hummer EV. This one's the HEV. I don't know what that means. Probably just like the truck version. So, I don't know. Us truck guys, we don't really like electric vehicles. So, I say we get this guy out of here. Of course, he's the guy to show up and total someone else's truck. But whatever. Uh, yeah, we got the Raptor. And I would like to take a look inside of one of these trucks. Uh, where'd these guys go? I saw them around here. I think they're outside somewhere checking it out. But, all right, let's uh, hop in. Oh, no. So, I got a nice display here. It's pretty cool. It's all tinted out, though, so I can't see anything. But... Got the underglow lights on these things. Let's just start it up. Oh, yeah, that diesel sounds good. Oh, my gosh, the horn. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hold on. That's a funny horn. All right, here we go. I think there's another truck rolling in. Let's see what he's up to. Oh, my gosh. This is my kind of style. Look at this. Another Hummer, but this one is allowed. Yes, yes, yes. Come on in, sir. Welcome, welcome. Dang, this thing is sweet. Got like the camper up top or uh, what do they call that the i guess it's just the cover so that if there's rain or something but he doesn't have the hard top which is kind of cool keeps it classical hey sir welcome welcome in how are you uh not too bad oh okay uh where are you from uh i'm from the military base the military base wow this thing uh is pretty nice truck i didn't know this can go in the military he's got a blue camo on it yeah uh, a blue camo for when we drive in the ocean ocean oh, oh okay you uh, sound like a commander. Are you a commander? Yes, I'm your commander. Oh, okay. Wow, this thing is pretty cool, man. I do like it. Can I take it for a test drive? Sure, here's the keys. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll be back in a few. I always wanted to drive one of these classic Hummers. It is not a manual. It is actually automatic, which is good. This thing's cool. It's got the big tires. This thing's wide, too. Oh, no. Good thing we got the bull bar in the front, but I just hit the fence. But this thing's sweet. We got the lights on it. Look at those turn signals. This thing is so wide. Because I drive a Raptor, this thing is, uh, oh my gosh, even wider than my supercharged Raptor down there. And this, this is pretty cool. Got to get used to the driving part of it, though. And you got like a storage compartment up front. You got, let's see, a little reading light right there. Look at that. I wonder if you could turn that on. And then you got computers, two seats in the back. This is pretty sweet. And I love how the windshield is like slanted like a Jeep. So it's like straightforward. I don't know. It's pretty cool. But you get a lot of rock chips from the road every now and then. So. I guess that's the downside, but let's go take this thing on the street, see if it can rip. Here we go. Open gate. Perfect. Wow, this thing is tight between the gates right there, but all right, here we go. Let's get on the main road, take it for a little rip. Oh, it's got no license plate. Hey, Karen, I almost hit her. She was walking in the road and no license plate, but it is a military vehicle. So this thing rips. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Let's go on the highway. See how fast we get it going. Oh, tires like to slip too. Here we go. Merge onto the highway. We're already doing a hundred. Suspension is like crazy. It's like you're riding on a cloud though. So it's super comfortable and it, I mean, obviously for military you're out in the sand dunes and all that stuff. So it's got to be a comfortable ride. This thing rides really good. The turning's a little weird though. It's kind of hard to turn the steering wheel probably because it's got a long wheelbase and also the tires are super wide. So they make a lot of noise. All right, let's head on back to the truck meet. I think we have a few more guys showing up and then uh, we'll get done with the truck meet. Head out of here. I want to test drive another truck. Maybe the next two will be a uh, TRX or something. I don't know. Usually there's always a TRX at the truck meet and I'm the Raptor. So maybe we'll test drive a supercharged engine and see how that thing rides. So I'll see you guys when we're pulling back in. All righty. Here's the lineup so far. I hear actually another truck pulling in. Oh, of course there's a TRX guy. The last one to show up. Oh my gosh. Why is he reversing in backwards? What are you doing, sir? Hey, mind your own business. Oh, he's got a megaphone on that thing too. Hey, I bet you're four foot tall. Come on, get out of the truck, man. Hey, watch the Hummer. Oh, oh, that was really close. All right, you're good there. You can park right there. Just, yep, take up the front spot. Hey, who are you calling four foot one? You're four foot two. Yeah, I'm still an inch taller than you, man. What, do you want to argue about our height or something? Or you want to race trucks? Mr. TRX. Actually, it's my dad's truck. Oh, go figure. All right, well, uh, I got a Raptor over there. V8 swap. Do you want to race? Yeah, let's do it. Line it up. All right, things just got heated. I'm racing them in my Raptor. Here we go. Farge bad boy up. Ford Raptor versus the TRX. I'm definitely going to win. Like, I'm already winning outside the driveway here. Come on, buddy. Get your trucks moving. All right, there we go. Take a left here. Okay, here we go. We're going to line it up on the street with the TRX versus the Raptor. I think we're probably going to win, though. I just think it's just got a crazy acceleration. It's got turbos on it, too, with the supercharger. So, all right, let's line it up. Here we go. We're going to race this guy. All right, pal. You ready to lose on the count of three? One, two, three, go. Oh, yeah, we got the launch on him. Look at this thing go. Oh, my gosh. It's so much faster. We're actually a 1,000 pounds lighter, too. This is so much faster. We're already doing 80 miles an hour. 
We're maxed out on RPM. I got the paddle shifters working here. All right, there we go. We're going to jump right on the highway from here, and then we're going to continue racing all the way up to the campsite and see who can win. So it's kind of like a destination race. So if we mess up, we might lose. So there we go. Solid turn back there. Merge onto the highway. He's catching up, but he's rolling, so uh, we might have a good lead on him. There we go. We got to be first at the campsite, and we get to win his truck. He said he's going to give us the truck if we win. So, I mean, this is for all the marbles. Here we go. We're doing 110 in the Raptor. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. We flipped. Oh, we landed it. What? That was good, but I think he caught up back there. There he is. He's creeping up on me. He's right behind me. Oh, my gosh. He still got his hazards on. I think we're going to win, though. We need about 500 more feet. Oh, no. We're maxed out. He's speeding up. He's got the Hellcat. Oh, my gosh. I think that he won that one. No way. Hey, what do you think? Who won that race, buddy? I definitely did. Oh, you won the race? All right. Fine, fine. You can have the Raptor then. I'm just going to go buy a T-Rex, man. Let's go, man. I can tell my dad I won something finally. Oh, okay. All right. See you later. Well, guys, that's it for today's truck meet. It got pretty wild. We raced a kid with a T-Rex in our Raptor. We lost, sadly. But, I mean, that T-Rex is brand new, so... There he goes, speeding off on the wrong side of the highway. But if you guys enjoyed this one, you want to see the series continue of us at this truck meet. Also, more underground truck meets. Make sure you smash the like button down below. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 150K for our next goal. So if you guys could hit that, we would appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.